Hi everyone, good morning. Uh, this weekend I'm going to do a lot of uh, videos because um, I think that's uh, how I can uh, handle it better. Do a few th during the week and do a lot in the weekend. So um, first off I want to thank everyone for sponsoring my channel. This is the updated list as of this morning, 10 o'clock. And here are your names if you have helped my my um, uh, channel and you're not on here please send me an email and I'll fix it as soon as possible so thank you all for making this um, possible now what I have planned for now as you can see there's some nice sparkle going on on this uh, 40 by 40 and what I want to do is put this beautiful big shell I want to transfer it on there like that or maybe like that. Now I'm gonna do it like this, but the other way around. Or maybe like that. Hmm. Choices, choices. Let's see. Or like that. Now I'm gonna do it like this. I like it kind of like that. So we have some space up here and some space down there. Now what I am going to do is cut it pretty much take off the excess paper like this and uh, I have a lot of uh, new subscribers uh, the last two weeks I've had a uh, I've seen a lot of new people come in and um, if you really want to get into this kind of art, I have made a playlist of all the basics about mixing, about, you know, what the torch does, the silicone, explaining everything. And if you go to the first page of my channel, you can find the playlists and there's one that says the basics. So if you go and, uh, go and read that, or go and watch those videos you'll be really up to date about everything so what I have is transfer medium and uh, that's what I'm gonna try out for the first time so I have my transfer I have my medium I have my canvas I have a brush and then I will be needing something to put it down with I think I'll use this okay let's do this so I'm gonna put a lot of that medium on here I shook it really well there we go then I'm going to make sure everything is covered in medium and that's where good lighting really helps because now I can absolutely see where I missed something, especially around the edges. See, I don't mind so much that the uh, if I miss some spots in the middle, but you really have to have, and this stuff dries fast, wow. Wasn't expecting that. So that's about everything we need. Then we're going to put it on like this. That's about the same there and there. And there's not enough on here, I see. Let's make that a little bit more gooey. Okay, that's about it. No, yeah, that doesn't work. I really have to do it with my fingers. And I'm hoping that this is going to go really fast because uh, I'm going to put it outside. The sun was just out. So I'm hoping that it'll uh, stick on there. Although I see a lot of bubbles. And that means it's not on there. So you have to do that really fast. Maybe I should have put some on the canvas too. Uh, well, we'll see. 
and it's really if uh, if there's a couple of pieces missing there's no problem at all because I'm going to be um, painting a, a layer on top of glaze to give the shell some beautiful um, shell colors with glitter stuff and s all kinds of beautiful stuff going on <coughs> so that's number one then put this one away for a bit then we're gonna go to number two that's this one and for this one I had in mind a seahorse but I think this one's too big so I thought I'd go for uh, a little one like that yeah that's the one I'm gonna pick So this time I'll, I'll do it with the transfer medium. I'll do it a little bit differently. Just cut out as much as you can. There it is, and of course we're going to put that on there, let's see, I'm putting on a little bit more than I did in the uh, previous one, see if that helps. Putting it smack in the middle here. There we go. Yeah, that definitely helps if you put a little bit more of that transfer medium on there. There it is. Let's see, get it all stuck on there. That is a little bit too much around the edges. Let's get that off. That's it. Just helping it along a little. So that's that one. Then I had another one. I had some more. I, I was um I wasn't sure which one I would do on the big one. See I had a really big lobster. That's kind of big. I think it would be too big. Or I'd have to do it diagonal. Let's see what I have more. I think that was it, yeah. That was the lobster. This was another one for the shell. And this was a bigger seahorse. We could put a bigger one on the other one. But let's let's just uh, stick to these two. So I'm going to uh, stop the video, put them outside to let them dry. And when they're dry, I'll do the rest of the video. So see you in a bit. Bye-bye. Hi guys, this is part two. So, this is dry. So now I'm going to make the uh, the this upper part wet. And I'm sure I've skipped a couple of uh, parts, but can't help it. You can always fill it in later. Let's see. Everything wet. Oops. There it is. That's nice and wet. Now let's see if we can remove some of this. Uh-oh, there's not much on the canvas, so I'll have to be doing a lot of damage control.
Well, there's a little bit on there. And that's sort of enough to, um, you know, to fill in with the, uh, with the colors. Oh, this is a lot of work. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do this all on video. See, there's a lot that didn't take. Let's see if this middle, this part took. Yeah, this did. See that? And I kind of like, I got to say that I kind of like the uh, distressed look so that it's not all on there. Because um, what you really want is just um, a little bit of a uh, idea where you're going to put the, the paint colors. But there's enough, enough on there to, um, to paint. Oh, there's a whole bit of... I think I'll take the, uh, get the other one, see if that one uh, worked better because I put some more transfer medium on it. Then you guys will know what to do. And that's pretty nice. See that? Let's get the other one, get that wet. So let that soak in there. I think I'm going to use a scrape, something to scrape. See if that works a little bit better. Yeah, it does. time I'm going to take it all off because with the last one with the fish you could still see a little bit of paper okay that's looking good let's do it with the, with the sponge yeah this isn't too bad some of that paper off there. Wow, that's a mess. Okay, let me get something sharper. Let's see if we can get this off now. under it to really scrape off the last of that paper. Yeah, I kind of like it. I like it that it's um, not totally printed. So then I can really do something with the, uh, with the colors. Here. 
I am going to let it dry and see if all the paper is off. That's pretty much all of it. Now I do think that if you're doing this you need some really quality uh, paint underneath because I know that some when you make it wet again it starts to bleed and that's not the case with uh, Windsor & Newton. Windsor & Newton doesn't do that. So this is, uh, oops, that one's on the floor. This one I, yeah, this is how I meant for it to be. So now I'm going to come in with the glaze and do a, a full glaze, only I'm going to do the outline with black. I do want a, a good outline. I don't mind here, the piece is not totally being on there, but the outline has to be on there. Okay, that's number one. Now for the other one. Yeah, this one's on there a little bit. Oh no, there it goes. I think you really need to uh, give it um, a lot of attention when you put that on there. You really, really need to make sure that it's totally covered with that medium. And to tell you the truth, I'm not sure uh, about, uh, look, the whole nose will just twirl off. So there's not much left of my little seahorse. Good thing that I have another one. This is where I, I put some transfer medium on top of it. So you really can't do that because it doesn't take water anymore. See that? And I can always fix it. I'm pretty sure I can. But so the whole whole thing is, people, you got to put a lot of medium on there. That's what you have to do. Or it doesn't work. There it is. I think I can work with it. All I need is a, uh, a black marker that will uh, not bleed. There has to be something on there that is waterproof. That's it. Let's, let me find one. Now, <clears throat> if there's one thing I do have is a lot of markers, because I love markers. Let's see. This doesn't say if it's waterproof. Let's get another one. This one, I think this one is. This is a Tombow. I think this was. Let's test it. Now, if you want to test something, what you do is just take a scrap, put a line on there like that. You do want to let it dry. You know, you do want to give it a little chance of drying. And then we go over it. See that? Then we are sure that it's waterproof. Yep. So then what I do is just make up this bit. And of 
course this bit and I know here is a sort of a thin thing and of course it's nose does need a nose you can hardly see it See, there it goes. Of course, we need these things. And that's okay. These things are sort of important. That's it. I think we fixed it, right? Here we go. See that? And that's how I'm going to outline the, uh, the shell. But I'm going to do that really, really carefully because I think that's going to be a really beautiful painting. So this one is ready to go. And what I'd like is, I'm, I'm not sure, but I think I'd like something like seaweed on the sides or something. Uh -huh. Not sure yet. Might do that, might not. Ooh, I've got to fill this in like that. Okay. Already. So um, I'm going to put these two together because up to here, you know, what you do after this is on your own thing. You could leave the transfer like this, put a varnish layer on top. You can come in with a glaze, and the glaze is nothing more than a, a little bit of pigment and some, you could use pouring medium. You can use uh, clear tar gel. You can use sort of everything, even polymer medium, with a little bit of pigment in it. And then you can give it a little bit of color. Um, I don't have anything ready because all I have is the, um, uh, the ones I do the watercolor with. But you don't want to do watercolor. You, you do want to put something on here with a gel so that it, when it dries, you can varnish it. So I'm going to let these dry at least till tomorrow. So um, from here, you can self-determine what you want to do. Leave it as a transfer. Come in with a glaze. You could even really paint it with a brush and, and acrylic paint. So it's all up to you. But I, get, I, I know you get the, the general idea of how you do this. So first you do the background. Let that dry then transfer on top, let it dry, and then you do the glaze. Okay, people, thank you for this part, and um, I'll be up next with a resin pour on a really thick piece of plexiglass. So thanks for watching. Love you all to pieces. See you all in the next video. Bye-bye.